Hello, stampers. Oh, I'm, um, I'm really excited. Like, um, do you find that sometimes um, when you're out there shopping, what happens is you find something, you're looking for something and something inspires you? Um, today, that's actually what I'm, I'm using today is, is a gift card that expired, inspired me. And I'm now doing a gift card holder. Welcome to my video channel. If this is your first time here, um, I'd like to welcome you and also get you to subscribe down below. And then that time you're that that way you're always notified every time I upload a new video. I'm Diane Evans and I'm an independent Canadian stamping up demonstrator. So let's get started. So we're going to do a gift card holder and we're using the Mary Moose stamp set and punch. So let me flip the camera up and then we're going to go from there. So I just, all right. So we've got that all set up. Good stuff. Okay. So like I say, what I'm doing is I'm using this Mary Moose stamp set and the punch and we're also going to throw in this buffalo check in there as well now this is part of my back to basics uh, series but it got a little too involved in here so um it's probably just going to go somewhere else but at least this will be on to uh, the facebook group so this was my inspiration it was a gift card that i got at a coffee shop I'm actually going to do another one using these colors because it inspires me to use those colors. But it's this gift card that inspired me to do a mousse gift card holder. Now, gift card holders are so great to do, especially with the holiday season coming up. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do, or we'll just work through it. I have a piece of cherry cobbler designer series, or cherry cobbler cardstock. And what I've done is it is at... 10 inches, scored it at one and three quarters, and I've also scored it at five and a half inches. And then we're just going to fold into the mountain, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my bone folder. And this is going to be the basis of the gift card holder. Now, Unfortunately, Stampin' Up! doesn't have the one inch punch anymore, but they have lots of other punches that you can use for it. So I always put usually a hole punch here you could use a die for that but I do have a punch that I can actually go in and put is that going to be in the right spot no it's not so I'm going to use this punch actually and we're just going to go here and put a little notch in here so it's easy to get the gift card holder out so we're going to kind of center that and I'm hoping that that's going to be enough that should be enough. Let's check that out. Yep, it'll be just fine. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to bring in some tear and tape. And I'm just going to secure this end down. So we're just going to put it up at the top. And because it could be op used over and over again, or they take the gift card in and out, you want to make sure that you use something that's secure. So I'm using the tear and tape here. And we're just going to put that down like that. All right. So I'm also kind of using a card that I had designed a few years ago. So um, I, I've got like a few things to go in there. Like I've got some crumb cake and I've got some spare pieces to put the sentiment on. And you know what? I, I will include a bunch of um, on my YouTube channel. I will include a link to my blog. And on my blog, it'll also show you all the measurements for this. So I want to kind of make it like into a buffalo check sort of woodsy sort of type thing. So I have some basic black and it's two and a half by four. And I'm going to actually put that about there. So let's go ahead and bring in my, my stamp and seal. Actually, move this stuff all out of the way here. And remember, when you're using the stamp and seal, lots of people have problems with it. It's a really light hand that you use, and you just roll. And by rolling, what it's done is it's advanced the, the tape and roll. Because otherwise, you've got to advance the tape manually every single time. 
So we're just going to go ahead and layer this on here. Actually, today it's kind of like a lot with, to do with punches as well. All right, so now I have a piece of cherry cobbler, and this is two inches by three and three quarters, I believe. We might have to trim it down. But I am using this label punch, and it fits nicely right in there when you cut the two inches. And I'm just going to have that to go up at the top of the tag because I'm, I'm putting a tag on here with the um, um, with everything that I'm doing with it so now what I want to do too is I have a piece of this is with uh, cherry cobbler and this cherry cobbler is uh, two and a half by three and a three and a quarter and what I've done is I have I put my buffalo check and I have put that onto my stamparatus. I find it so much easier when you use your stamparatus when you're stamping a big background stamp because you can go back in and keep um, re-inking it up. And this is kind of a rustic sort of thing. Let's put this underneath here. Do you have a stamparatus? Oh man, these things are just amazing. All right. So I first start by just covering it by running it over. And then what I want to do, I know my card's going to be in there. So I'm just going to put this on. Now, one tip that I'm going to give you with the Stamparatus is, um, and with a big background stamp like this, when you go to put it in on this side here, I use repositional tape. And the reason I do is I want it to stay there because I know I'm probably going to have to go back down and stamp it a couple of times. But I want it to stay there. So let's go stamp this. This check is amazing and gives that rustic, woodsy type feel, right? So, you know, it's not bad. But I think it would be better if I stamped it up a little bit more. Like I say, with the Stamparatus, you can do that and keep going back in. But like I say, I went and I put that down with the repositional tape, and it was a lot better to do it that way. Let's see. And sometimes with the Stamparatus, an even feel is better. And that's pretty good. Yep, we're going to go with that. Just move that out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is, I think today is almost all, also about punches because I'm using a lot of punches today. So I'm using this trio punch and it's, it's a corner rounder. So I'm just sliding it in there where it goes. See, it goes right into there and there. So this, this would be a great card if you know a hunter. Um, I just think the whole moose thing is so, kind of captures the wild, the, um, the north, right? Canadian. I think it does anyway, so. Okay, so I've kind of cornered that, or I've rounded those corners off. And I've got this. And see, what I'm going to do is I'm just using this as a base to put on there because I'm bringing this in and I'm going to put it across here or across like that. So all I want to do is just bring in that seal again. And like I say, I'm rolling it, remember? So then we're just going to line that up on there. And then this is going to go there. Now I want to put this on the inside but I think I'm going to be stamping on here, so I'm going to put that in a little bit later. Now, I had a couple of options, but I could do, I could put in, let's see, I could do a, an oval like this. I could go ahead and I could do some embossing on this oval. This looks quite nice, but I just want to show you something I could do a little bit different on here. So, with this oval... Um, let's see, I'm going to take, now let's see what I want to do. In this stamp set, there are some trees and that sort of stuff. So let me just bring that one tree out. 
And I'm not sure if this is the way I'm going to leave this card or not, but we're going to give it a try anyways. I'm just going to come in. It's kind of a big block for this. And I'm going to go in with my, I'm going to use crumb cake. And I think I might have to stamp it up off. Yes. So I just want to have that kind of in the background there for my mousse. Yes, I want it quite light. That's good. Okay, and then what I want to do with this stamp is I have mounted the mousse stamp. And I'm going to just put it onto a spare piece of um, crumb cake. I am going to stamp this off, I think. And then we're just going to stamp it. I don't want it to, because of something I'm going to do with it, I didn't want it to... Um, heavy on there. So now I'm going to bring in that mousse punch. And we're just going to go line that up. And because I did it so faint, it's going to be a little bit harder to line up. But I think that's okay. And then what I want to do is I want to go in with this smaller tree. See this tree here? And I think I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go full strength. And I, I'm just trying this out. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to put another tree right there. And I'm thinking or I'm hoping that's going to work. Well, maybe not. Maybe it might have to go on to a black. Yep, yeah, maybe we'll put it onto a black oval. See, when you're creating, that's what happens is a lot of times you think you have something figured out and then it's not quite figured out the way you want it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on with dimensionals. Of course, I'm using black dimensionals because this is a black um, piece there. And I'm on to my scraps, so we'll just cut some scraps. We use every piece that we can with our dimensionals. Okay, so. And another one right here. On this um, YouTube video, I will also be providing all the supplies that are that I'm using today. So let's put that onto here. And I like how that mousse is with the um, the trees on there. All right. So now I think I need something to go on the front of that card. And on this stamp set, there's there's a few sentiments, and they're kind of neat sentiments. There's one that says Merry Christmas, um, but I want happiest of holidays because this might be something that even, well, I, I, I think you could give this gift card before the Christmas season to somebody or whatever. Now, because it's on here, I think I'm going to use my memento ink and we're going to see if I can line this up with this camera in the way. Not too bad. Kind of lucked out there, I must say. And I'm going to bring in a sponge. And my sponges, um, I reuse all my sponges. I don't label my sponges. Um, I find that it's... Um, I don't know if I'm going to chevron this or not. No, I don't think I will. Um, I just find that... If I label them, I'll spend more time looking for the color that I want. So I just put mine into a nylon bag and I wash it. And I wash it with dark colors. And um, it doesn't matter then if the ink comes out, right? There, that's going to go there. Like I say, I'm doing this fly, just doing this on the, on the fly. So let's pop up our, 
You know, I probably could have used black dimensionals on this one as well. Let's go ahead and use black dimensionals because we don't know how those are, it's going to show up. Um, I'll bring those in again. I know I'll put it on the back here. And then let's put a couple of these on this mousse. I have a card class that I'm doing with this Merry Moose as well. So let's put him right about there. Yeah, I think he's so cute with those trees on there. And we we'll put that right about there. And then now we've got with the gift card holder, let's bring it in and put it in like that. Now, do I want to have this in the middle? Yeah, I think we kind of need to do that. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stamp those trees on the side. So let me bring in that crumb cake again. I don't, do I want to stamp it off? Yes, I'm going to stamp it off. And I think we'll put in the smaller tree as well. I'm going to stamp that off. And then I can decide what I want to put on there afterwards. I'm going to put that right in there like that. Yep, that looks good. Okay, let's put our snail on. Let's put that right. And I cut this one. It was... Um, three and three quarters by five inch. I kind of like it being a little bit, quite a bit different than there. Let's put this on here. Now I'm gonna bring in the Stamp and Seal Plus because I wanna make sure that it sticks on there really good. Like so. I guess we could have put some of that twine on there but I don't really think it needs it. And then let's put that gift card holder in there. Well, we want the most sticking out, right? So there we have that. So there's, it's a simple duplicatable um, gift card holder. I had done one um, last week on my blog and it was done like this. So this is the gift card holder there. Like I say, there's so many different occasions that you can use this for, but I'm quite... I'm quite happy with the way that that one kind of turned out. So if you like that, just leave a comment. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask any questions. Um, better yet, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and every time. And there's a bell down below. And when you subscribe and hit the bell, you get notified every time that I upload a new video. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that and have a great day. Bye for now.